what's up guys uh wanted to do a quick uh video of course i did the unboxing already and got the first um i think 40 or so maybe 45 uh, round shot in this thing and uh figured i'd do a review real quick for anybody that's thinking about um getting this gun of course it's the um smith and wesson mmp 1522 a really good rifle i i highly recommend it this is my first uh ar style uh rifle and i'm loving it so far like i said i haven't i haven't shot a ton of it uh but just i really like it i like the weight of it it's only about five pounds um it's got a lot of the uh the adjustments that are good too the, the sights were dead on um, I mean fresh out of the box so that was pretty cool and uh, looking to upgrade it too so um, leave any suggestions that you've got um, in the comments but I know I'm looking for a uh, red dot to replace this of course it has the Embus um, pop-up sights here got two sets there and adjustable stock there um, but that's that's what I'm looking for is a red dot to put here um, maybe a sling probably and definitely a light up under here um, I know a lot of people are replacing the stock grip here um, with the MOE uh, K uh, grip may do that not sure uh, originally I thought I was gonna replace some of this uh, black with the green or the tan decided against that I really like the all black look of it uh, so that's not going to be something I'm going to look at now. I also want to uh, get the uh, suppressor. So there's a nice suppressor just screws right on just like this one comes off. Um, but finding the, the subsonic ammo is going to be the issue. But once I find that, if I have some, that's what I'll probably do is get the suppressor then. Uh, but like I said, it's got the pop-up sights. They were dead on. I mean, dead on target right out of the box so i'm really impressed by that the only complaint that i've got i guess right now is the adjustable stock is kind of loose let's see if i can put it down on the table you can see it just it's got some give in it i uh, don't really like that so i definitely want to change that out or find a way to adjust it that i maybe i don't know about right now uh, that can make that better and i just keep it but um, i know they've got a lot of really cool stocks um, that are more aggressive looking and um, I guess I would assume more stable than that right there so uh, like I said I, I put around 45 rounds through it and never jammed um, of course it may I mean as I said that's that's not that many rounds uh, basically uh, two mags through it uh, they've got the 25 I know in some states you can only do the 10 round mag sorry that you live there uh, definitely like the 25 and I know that they've got a 35 uh, I don't think I'll go with the 35 I think I'll keep the 25 that's on it or maybe just find a second mag um, that I can do but overall like I said just wanted to make a quick video I highly suggest it I like it uh, the only complaint I've got is the stock that's the only one I've got right now I'm uh, looking forward to shooting it a lot more I ran out of ammo uh, and I had to go find some more and luckily found some uh, so I bought up what I could and so I'm going to continue to to get that as it comes in but like I said overall I love it so far so recommend you go get one if you want one they're in the target price right around $450 uh, in my area um, after tax right around $500 so somewhere between four and five hundred dollars um, you can get yourself this gun for about three hundred dollars more you can get the uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 15 uh, Sport 2. Uh, that's a really good gun. It's not one that I wanted right now because the, just the ammo is hard to find. And so I like the 22. I like that it's lightweight. I like that you can relatively get ammo pretty cheap for it. And, um, and really, if you look it up, 22 is the number one home defense um, caliber. So, you know, more people in uh, home invasions or committing home invasions were killed with a 22 uh, than anything else so that's the number one uh, home defense weapon so I, like i said it's cheap ammo it's good defense and overall i mean the gun just looks great so like i said if you have any suggestions for upgrades that i don't know about like i said i don't want to extend the rail anymore i put the, the small rail um 
on the bottom so I can put maybe a light or something there but uh, if you have any suggestions of different things to uh, to do to them like I said I'm always I'm looking it up on my own too but uh, if you've got any suggestions I'd love to hear them but uh, yeah let me know if you have one already if you've already got one or if you're looking for one and uh, what your your price is in your area so I can kind of compare for the different ones um, all the ones I looked at were right around the same price and going to the different um, locations to get them right around four hundred fifty dollars before tax so uh, other than that um, I'm gonna look at putting a few more rounds through this thing and when I get some upgrades I will make another video thanks for watching